you've got photos on the very first iPhone. Is it possible to get them off? Yes, and I'm gonna show you how. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt and I own Pixology where we've organized millions of photos for our clients over the past 10 years. Recently, I did a video on getting pictures from an iPhone to a PC. Someone posted that they, I think they were having troubles getting their photos from an old, old iPhone and uh, they were frustrated, I'm sure. So I thought, let's put this to the test. We actually have in our possession the very first uh, version of an iPhone here. And I have some photos on here that I took. Uh, there's just like five in the camera roll here. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. So first of all, you're gonna need the old charger, of course. And if you don't have one, you'll need to order it. I've got a link below for that. And you may just need to order a new one anyway because these can get damaged over the years and that could be a reason why your PC is not able to connect to the phone. So anyway, you're gonna connect it like that. Then if your computer has a USB port, you can just plug that right in. Unfortunately, a lot of laptops especially are not coming with USB ports. They're coming with USB-C ports. So you have to get a uh, converter, all right? There's a lot of them out there. I've got links for that too. So I'm gonna connect that. Now I'm gonna connect my iPhone to the PC. All right, I am plugging it in and depending upon your computer and its settings, a message might come up at the bottom right down here. Of course, mine opened up the file explorer right away. If a message comes up like what to do with the device, you're going to want to open it in file explorer. All right, so now we've got the internal storage and the DCIM card is right there. This is what we're looking for, where the pictures are. So we just have to go inside and the five photos that I have on the phone are now viewable to me right here. I do wanna say that technical difficulties often happen. If for some reason the internal storage is empty, just disconnect your cord and reconnect it and see if that works. You kinda gotta play around with it. Then sometimes another message might come up down there that something's wrong with the device. I've had that happen even with this one, testing it out, and it seems to work when I reconnect it. So uh, you'll have to play with it, and, uh, and I'm not sure how good an older computer, it should work the same way, but uh, everybody's technology is a little different. So I would say just keep, you know, disconnecting and reconnect, uh, especially when you can see that the internal storage is coming right up um, and then the pictures are in there. So once you have it connected and you have the pictures there, we need to copy them from the phone over to your computer. And this is a standard thing I tell people is to open up another file explorer window. And on the desktop, I keep a photos to organize folder. And you can see I have lots of stuff in there, but I'm going to make a folder for this iPhone's photos because I might want to compare these to another batch later for duplicates. Now, this is a phone that was made in 2007. So I'm going to make a folder called uh, 2007 iPhone. So it's real clear what I'm doing, okay? And let me just type that in here. Okay, so now I'm going to just select these pictures and copy them over to the 2007 iPhone folder. And now the photos are in there. I know this can be really frustrating and uh, I have found that it's usually the cable that's the issue. And if you have more difficulties, you can work with a data recovery company. I've got one listed below and they might be able to help you recover your pictures if you just have had no luck. 
All right, I hope this was helpful. If you have any thoughts or tips for other people, leave them in the comments below. I know it'll help. And if you're looking for more help in organizing photos with Windows, check out uh, the videos I have up there, Windows 10 and 11. And that's it for now. Thank you so much, and we'll see you the next time.